welcome back to my channel. We have a guest appearance from my sister Alex, who will be my sous chef tonight and my fall favorite. I am coming back with another one of my favorite fall recipes, another half-baked harvest recipe. And tonight we are making herb ricotta stuffed chicken in cider pan sauce with mashed cauliflower. It says the whole thing's gonna take 45 minutes to make. I will zoom this speed up so it doesn't take 45 minutes to watch it. <laughs> but yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. We're gonna cook cauliflower, make cauliflower mash. We're gonna change the recipe just a little bit. I didn't have chicken with chicken skin on it, which is what the recipe calls for. So instead of stuffing the chicken, or the ricotta mixture in the chicken skin, we're gonna just cut the chicken in half and then stuff the ricotta in the chicken and maybe like, Pick it close. I don't know. We're gonna just like experiment. We're gonna have some fun. Um, so yeah, let's get started. To start, we're gonna do some ricotta, whole milk ricotta, in a bowl, and then we're gonna do a little bit of shredded pita. This already looks delicious. Um, I'm only on step two. And then we've got Gouda. I don't have fresh sage, so I have time to chop that up. I do have dried sage. So put a little bit of sage, dried sage, and then chop up some fresh thyme. Here, nutmeg, salt, pepper. Here, I have a knife and a cutting board here. If you want to use it. So some pepper, salt, and some nutmeg. All right, here, you can mix this and I will time. So what are your favorite fall traditions, Alex? I think carving pumpkins, going to the pumpkin patch, picking up the best pumpkin in, um, in the patch. <laughs> in the pumpkin and, patch. Um, last year was super fun. Devin hosted a pumpkin carving um, night. We carved pumpkins, we watched what did we watch? Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Classic Halloween movie. Um, everyone yeah. carved a th very interesting things in their pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, we did like non-traditional. I don't even know if anybody did like a pumpkin face. I think they had a cat. I did just like stars and I did it. I used a, um, a drill to like drill holes in it. So it looked <laughs> like, I don't even know what it looked like, but it was actually really pretty. It was very cool. You made, you had just moved to Miami, so you made like a Miami I made a, pumpkin or something. It said I wrote Miami and it had a pumpkin tree on it. <laughs> yeah, so it was very non-traditional pumpkins, but they all turned out very cute. Yeah. So we'll probably do that again this year. Oh, cool. And then Maybe. probably cooking. I love pumpkin flavored everything, so. Well, this has no pumpkin in it, but I know. Like delicious, warm, warm to soul recipes are just, yeah, very fall-y. So I'm putting some thyme in here. Okay, and then I need some fresh thyme to top the chicken as well. So let me chop up some more. I really don't like taking the leaves off the thyme. It's definitely not my favorite job. <laughs> Everywhere. Okay. Put this to the side. Cut our chicken. Okay, you need to oil a oven safe skillet. Pop that there. Let me grab some chicken. And so since we don't have skin, we're gonna just, I'm thinking to just like cut it in half and then like ricotta mixture in there. <laughs> like that. Just like, okay. Stuff in the turkey at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This extra flap of chicken is, but <laughs> this is very interesting. Do it down. I recommend, I was gonna try to like weave it through, but I definitely recommend getting chicken 
Oh, <laughs> chicken with skin on it, essentially. It would make your life a lot easier. It's stuffed, you <laughs> know? Stuffed, however, it's, it's gonna work. It's very delicate, it is coming out the bottom. If you use the chicken with the skin, it's probably gonna have more flavor too. And it'll crisp up better for sure. All right, last chicky chicky. See if I can cut this. We got one. a lot of ricotta to get in there. I'm so sad that I can't go to haunted houses this year. That's like one thing I really love doing. There's some frightening ones though. Like you know, I've had bad is just so fun. So I'm gonna just pop it in a food processor, process it. Uh, her recipe actually calls for cream cheese, but we're skipping that. We're gonna just do a little butter, garlic, salt, pepper, and like a little bit of heavy cream just to like make it a little smooth. Maybe a little garlic salt. I'm gonna try it first. Let's see. Uh, so I've got my food processor here. All right, we're gonna add in some butter, garlic, Salt and pepper. Oh my God. Okay. And then we're gonna start food processing up and then maybe a little olive oil, maybe parm. I'm not sure how to taste it. I'm gonna add in a little parm. And then taste test, because you always need a taste test. Yeah. So good. good. 
So the next part, we're gonna take the chicken and the mushrooms out of the skillet after it's done cooking. And then we're gonna make our cider, white wine sauce. Didn't mean to buy apple cider with ginger extract, but I tried it and it's not like too gingery and weird. So hopefully it's okay. Hey, Winston, hopefully it's okay. And that's it. You, you saute that all together, make a sauce, and then Winston, brown butter, sauce, chicken and mushrooms back in and voila. So we just pulled the chicken out of the oven. I actually finished it on broil because it didn't have any color. Thinking I should have put more toothpicks because the ricotta is like exploding out of it, but it looks super good. Okay, take the chicken. Here we go. Kind of exploded. You're gonna take the chicken and the mushrooms out. We're gonna take the, the toothpicks out after they kind of like sit for a minute. Um, and then we're gonna use the shallots and garlic and the sauce. Okay, this is a bit difficult. I don't even see the garlic. Where did the garlic go? <laughs> right here. No. So now we're gonna brown some butter in the pan with all the chicken juices and the shallots and the garlic. And basically we're gonna just let this go down till the butter is brown and then we're gonna add in our cider and our wine. Mmm, you can hear that butter browning. Or smell it, I mean, <laughs> hear it. I hear the butter browning. It's right to the point where you think it's like burnt, but it's not. And that's brown butter. Getting there. I'm gonna add in some vino. Deglaze the pan. Don't be scared. <laughs> Whenever you add anything to brown butter, it kind of like explodes. Like that. Half a cup of this, three. So now we're gonna just basically let this reduce down until it's like thick and delicious. Um, and while that's reducing, I'll just try to take out, I'll do some surgery on these toothpicks. <laughs> I guess you could let the person take them out. But once they bake, they usually are stuck together pretty good. <laughs> this one has a lot. Oh, like you <laughs> <laughs> It's like a two hand job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't let anyone bite into the toothpaste. I think that was good, right? <laughs> That's it. So the sauce is reduced down to half. I just kind of boiled it. As you can see, it's like luscious looking. We're gonna add in everything in this plate. Sorry, Winston. In the back of the pan, kind of heat it back up, let the flavors incorporate. <laughs> Ready to serve. First the mash, a little bit of mash. Yes. Okay, right over the mash and the spoon over chicken. That looks delicious! And... Oh my goodness. That looks delicious. Now we get to eat! So... Yay! Stopping it this way, you know, wasn't that good. Could have been much worse. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So good? So good! That was so good! Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my fall favorites. Highly recommend trying this recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like the video if you like it because I'd like to know what you guys like. 
use of the word like a lot. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are well and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!